Hello everybody, welcome back. 2023 maple syrup season has begun in Maine. We're getting some temperatures that are gonna be above freezing in the daytime, below freezing at night. I set out some buckets the other day, very little in them. It just hasn't got warm enough during the day, but it's supposed to by the end of the week. So this year, I'd like to show that anybody can do this. If you have some maple trees, your neighbor has some maple trees, it doesn't really matter what kind of maple. If you don't have sugar maple, if you have some swamp maple, some red maple, it doesn't have to be a sugar maple to make sap. I have some swamp maples or some little maples that are not that big in diameter. You can see here, they're probably maybe 16 inches in diameter. This property here was all in a fire and burnt in 1947. Every tree here was burnt to the ground. And this is what's grown since 1947. What I'm trying to say is, even if you don't have great maple trees, they will produce sap. So what you'll need to get started maple syruping is a drill, a 7 16 drill bit, if you don't have a power drill, I'm sure your neighbor or somebody might have one that you can borrow. 7 16 drill bit. And the key is to drill at a slight angle, about one and a half to two inches in. Next, you'll need a hook and a spline. They make all kinds of different splines. Plastic, you've seen them that the tube can fit on. I'm kind of old school, very small operation. I like to buy a metal spline so you can get this little setup for about five bucks you hammer that spile in about as far as you can get it so it doesn't start running down the tree and not into your bucket so here I have a two gallon bucket I believe it is and we have a lid The lid goes through these two little holes, the wire. My spile, my hook. Here I have an old style aluminum sap bucket that I bought used old style just a piece of bent metal for a lid here we are a few days later Early and I going out to see if there's any sap in the buckets. We don't have any snow on the ground, barely any at all. Not a whole lot of sap in the buckets either. It's the beginning of the season. The trees are just starting to come to life. The sun's just coming up, getting warm, warming up those roots, and they're sending that sap up the, up the tree to make leaves. Here you see this bucket that we have is about half full. We have a little drip going. Not too fast, not too slow. Let's get boiling. Here I am, I'm just trying to show you all that we can use just about anything to make maple syrup. I've got an old turkey fryer here that I'm using, which I like to call a lobster cooker here in Maine, but most everybody has a turkey fryer. I have this pan that I am filtering out that I usually use on a turkey fryer but it has a hole in the bottom so you can see I'm using it to filter out and then I put it into this wide bottom pan which is actually better because it has more surface area. So here we are cooking, cooking, I'm showing you we boiled down the key temperature is 219 right there I was showing you 217 I got really close I hit 219, I couldn't get to 219 videoed and get it off the stove same time. So here I am showing you the finished product. So 
So this is do it yourself version number two. And after you've done it a few years, you're gonna wanna upgrade your game. And you're gonna probably go to the next least inexpensive thing, which is this barrel, 55 gallon barrel cooker that I made. And uh, it works quite well. Bought everything off of Amazon, but the barrel, stove kit, and it's a nice next step up. You can really boil down quite a bit more gallons of sap per hour with this setup than you can with a turkey fryer. Turkey fryer, you have to spend money on propane too, which, you know, propane's quite expensive right now. So I've got this barrel humming right now. I'm on a good boil. We're roaring. So you can see in this video, I've changed the front pan to water, put all the sap into the back pan. Here I'm finished. Finished on the big barrel cooker. I'm going to refine it down on the outside turkey cooker like I did the other batch. But it's very simple to do. Anybody can do this. It just takes time. It takes a lot of time to sit there and let it boil down. Here we are cooking again, boiling it down, getting it closer. You can see the bubbles in the pan are getting bigger and it's more frothy. That lets you know that you're getting close to your 219 degree Fahrenheit temperature. Here I am pouring it off, filtering it. You know, you can filter it more than once. I've only filtered it more than once here. It's just for my consumption. I don't sell it. My family's consumption and myself. Got my little sidekick, Hurley, watching over me. And here I have three 12 ounce jars that I'm filling up and I have to go inside and get an old jar that out of the freezer and put a little bit a couple more ounces in that jar here's our finished product so on the left was in the turkey fryer on the right was in the barrel stove thanks for watching